What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So uh, right now my dad and I are headed to the Yankee game. It is game four right now. Uh, by the time this video goes up though, the series will be over. So um, you already know if they're in the World Series or not. Hopefully they are. Um, but last night we were really just hoping they were going to win because if they didn't win right now it would be a potential elimination game which wouldn't be fun. So at least we know even if they lose it's not over. So we're in the car driving now. Uh, we should be there in a little bit and I'll make sure to film some of the game when we get there. See you there. So we are at a deli across the street from the Yankee Stadium. We have about an hour and a half till the game starts. I'm gonna eat this extra stuffed sandwich. I'm gonna go to the stadium. So I just got back from the Yankee game and I kind of lost my voice from screaming so much. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, this was game four. By the time you guys see this video, it's going to be Monday and the series is going to be over. So right now it's tied 2-2. I'm hoping by now the Yankees have won and went to the World Series. But whatever happens, they had a great season. They weren't expected to go this far. And the game we were at today was absolutely amazing. Uh, they were down 4 nothing going into the seventh inning. It's kind of demoralizing. It looked like they were just going to lose and nothing was going to happen. They rallied. We saw an Aaron Judge home run. And when the Yankees tied it up and took the lead, the crowd went absolutely insane. It was a lot of fun to be at. Probably the best game I've ever actually went to. And I've been to a bunch of games in my life. Three World Series. So it was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you guys liked some of the footage that I showed you. Um, but right now, it's uh, late. I'm about to go to bed. But I will see you at the gym for a squat workout. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the squat workout. Um, just I'll just throw this out there since you guys saw the beginning of the video. Yankees lost, they're not going to the World Series, but that doesn't change the fact that we were still at probably the best game of the series as a Yankee fan. The crowd at that game was insane. I don't think you can really get the full picture of it from the footage that I tried to take. And it was a comeback win, so I mean if I had to be a Yankee fan, go to a game that was definitely the best game to be at. Yankees had a, had a great season, future looks promising, so there's no real complaints, they really exceeded all expectations anyway, but I'll stop talking about baseball since I feel like everyone else hates it. Uh, so here in this workout, this is the fourth week on my new routine that still does not have a name, so if you guys could think of a name, leave it in the comments below. Uh, so the first three weeks, I told you guys that basically I do, it was five sets of three, one week, five sets of two the second week. Back to five sets of three, but with more weight on the third week. And then the fourth week is kind of a, it leads up to an AMRAP set of 100% of my current training max. So the set that is about to come up right here, this is an AMRAP set. 
and this is 100% of the current max that I am now working with, which is 360 pounds. You might be saying, well, if 360 pounds is your max, how are you doing more than one rep with it? Uh, 360 is not my actual one rep max, it is my calculated training max. When I started this new program, I took what my actual max was, took 90% of that, which was 360, and that is the max that I am using as my training max. That's why I just got three reps with it. So before I was doing 531, where each week actually had an AMRAP set, uh, now I'm only doing an AMRAP set once a month, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, well, I think it's going to be, it's kind of a good way for me to kind of really see if I improve my strength over the course of a month. Um, and since the AMRAP set's always going to be 100% of my max, it's not like 531 where you're doing AMRAP sets with as low as like 85% of your max, where some weeks you might be able to get like up to 10 reps. So here I'm never going to really be getting more than three reps. So it's a little bit easier to judge the progress that I am making in terms of strength. Um, just because I'm always going to be in the same rep range and it's a lot easier to compare. Um, so the first month is over. This particular week was definitely the hardest week just because the weights were overall heavier. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after the AMRAP. So what I did was I pyramided back down. So the set that I did before the AMRAP. And yeah, I didn't mean to wear my belt. This is just a quick draw, uh, back down set with like a light weight. I just forgot to take it off. But yeah, so I pyramided back down um, the way I came back up. And then I ended off with this uh, lighter set, which, like I said, didn't mean to wear my belt. It wasn't heavy enough for a belt. Typically, I put the belt on after like 300 pounds, just as a reference point. Um, what I wanted to discuss just a, a little bit, uh, what I was thinking about, is b being an advanced trainee. I guess you could say I, I am now. Uh, I actually joined this gym that you're watching the video at uh, November 2005. So coming up next month, it's actually going to be 12 years since I joined the gym. I never really took any training breaks throughout the time. So it's been 12 years. I guess you could say I am an advanced trainee. And it's funny because everyone, when you first start, you just want to be at that point where you have like the physique you want, where your strength is at the point where you want. You basically want to be advanced as soon as you start. But... I have, to, I have some news for you guys. Being advanced kind of sucks, and it's not really all that it's, uh, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Uh, when you get to this point, I mean, strength gains are painfully slow. Granted, I am not really trying to gain weight, so I know I could be gaining strength faster. But even if I was to actually really, really try to gain strength, it's not going to be as fast as it is in the beginning. Muscle gains are also painfully slow. At this point, if I wanted to actually add any decent amount of muscle, I'd probably be looking at maybe like one to three pounds a year. And to do that, I would have to like put on some fat. I have to cut again. It's just a lot of effort and a lot of work for very little results. So all you guys who are watching this, if you're beginners, you're frustrated with your progress, you just want to get, you just want to have your goal physique already. Try to take a step back and enjoy the journey a little bit because it's very fun when you could actually make noticeable progress like each and every week. I remember back in the days when I, my bench would actually increase like five pounds every week for like six months. Like that was very exciting, being able to look six months down the road, uh, six months behind me, and I actually gained that much strength. I remember I could like measure my arms every week and they would actually be growing. Like that doesn't happen anymore. So like it, although being advanced has its benefits because you I guess you could say you have the experience and the physique that you want. Being new and not being advanced has its benefits as well. It's more fun. You notice daily, weekly changes. Everything's new and exciting and I I recommend trying to enjoy the journey a little bit because I mean not just in fitness but everyone always especially nowadays we always seem to be rushing to the end. We're never enjoying the moment. So as hard as it might be, try to enjoy the moment. Like I said, being advanced, it's not as great as you think it might be. So try to enjoy the faster progress while it lasts. It won't last forever. Um, just keep that in mind. But here we are wrapping up with leg extensions. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Sorry for you guys who hate baseball, but baseball is probably my favorite thing besides working out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.